Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where we solve lead code SQL questions. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important role which plays in it. And myself, I'm Mario Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are already available in the lead code platform. All my code solutions for the questions asked in the lead code platform are there in my github repository link which the link for that is available in the chart description below. In addition to that I have also segregated the channel into 5 playlists which are uh, re respectively easy, medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the question. The premium level subscription questions has premium playlist and all the questions combined into one single playlist ordered by their ID of questions asked in the lead code platform. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today. It is type medium question number 1174 immediate food delivery. Let's see the question in LMS. Lead code okay. It is asked in DoorDash. They are given a table which is consisting of delivery ID, customer ID, order date, customer preference date. Okay. If the customer preference delivery date is same as the order date, then it is called immediate. Otherwise, it is called schedule. The first order of customer is the order with the earliest order date. If it is guaranteed that a customer has precisely one first order. Select a. Okay. Let's see the table and let's see it. See, they said that if the day of order date is equal to preferred date, then it is immediate. Okay, let's call it uh, I. Then there is I. Here, you can, okay, it is not I, it's because it's not same, it will be scheduled. This will be scheduled. In the second row, you can see it is immediate. Similarly, for the third row, you can see it is scheduled. Fourth row, immediate. Fifth row, scheduled. Sixth row, scheduled. Immediate. These are the. Now, what they're asking? With respect to their customer, this is first condition. Second condition is only on the customers on their first order date. If you see customer 1 and 2, okay, there are two dates 2019 So this is not considered. Only the first date is considered. Similarly, for 2, there are two rows. Here 2019 8 to 2008 11. So only the whole thing is considered. Similarly, for 3, there are 2 rows 2019 824, 2019 821. So this is not considered. And for 4, there is only 1 row. Okay. If you see for 1, he got scheduled. For 2, it is immediate. For 3, it is scheduled. For 4, it is immediate. So, immediate percentage will be number of immediate things by total number of things. Immediate is what here? 2. Total is what here? 4 into 100 for percentage. Equal to 50, we get the answer. So, what we need to do? We need to create a new column. Here one more simpler thing can be done. Let's call it as schedule as 0 and immediate as 1. Then we can just group by this customer ID or it is also not required. We can just do the summation of these things to know the number of immediate things which is 2 here. Okay, Let's write the code first of all.
select all from delivery table where case when order date equal to customer delivery date then call it one else zero as some CD okay for case one statement you need to keep end in the start and the end uh, customer delivery date let's see the spelling customer preference delivery rate okay you can see these are the matching conditions and this is not the matching conditions now what they are asking on their first date only they want it so we need to do what we need to group by customer ID and let me see okay let's do one thing let's group by customers and let's take the minimum order deity and that day will be only one thing so let's call it minimum CT okay let's call this table as table 1 now from this table 1 I want to group by customer ID select customer ID comma minimum of order date as uh, some M date comma minimum there will be one row so we can't take it directly I think one row will be there so I think we can take it directly let's see As it is only one row, we are grouping by and taking that, or you can just keep the keep t1 dot ct. Uh, what's the mistake? Okay, there is already one more ct table. Or well, let's take minimum of this. Both will give the same thing. okay we got it so here here you can see these are the customers respect to first order date and if it is immediate or not a immediate non immediate thing they've asked for the immediate only right one minute if the customers prefer this I must have done at least order date that the customer it is getting the customer as precisely one first order two should have this two is what should not be let's check it
ओके ग्रुप बाय कस्टमर आईडी सेलेक्ट द कस्टमर आईडी ओके वी वांट व्हाट मिनिमम ऑफ ऑर्डर डेट Yes. Now what? And then minimum of CT. No, no. So minimum will take all the minimum things. Mm. Or we can do one more thing. As we see, uh, we have one and everything, right? And let's do one thing. Let's create a rank operator here. Rank over partition by customer ID order by order date ascending as date rank okay now let's select only all the rows as you can see we have date rank and also CT now if you filter for date rank one we will get all the rows where date rank equal to 1 okay now this is the final table where for each customer ID we will get the latest the first order date and the respect to immediate or not so now what we will do Let's call this table as T2 with T2 as this one. Okay, we don't need all the rows. Let's take the most important thing CT column now select from this CT uh, T2 table only sum of rows of CT column divided by select all the rows select count of all the rows from T2 and we need to multiply into 100 and we need to call it as immediate percentage immediate percentage with this there keep comma two tables are there okay it got accepted let's submit it Okay, let's try to keep it as a float number okay now what they want they want to round it off to 2 
our solution has been accepted by the platform thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends or colleagues who are preparing for the data analyst or a data scientist interview it will be great help for them and to you also who are learning just be disciplined complete all the videos which are there in my playlist there are total in 13 to 30 i think just try to complete all the things one day you will achieve your dream job as a data analyst or a data scientist best of luck thank you very much